what the <laughs> la la land a whopper costs how much again along the way during the start of the pandemic i became paralyzed no more walking no more driving no more going anywhere but i told that story a few times before and this is a specific video about the food not about me so ask about my story later in the comments fast forward to 2024 i do not drive anymore and i can't buy fast food in the drive through so i never been back to my favorite fast food drive through restaurants since 2021. Now I see the news and it's about how they're raising the prices of fast food to 20 bucks an hour. Hmm. I don't remember the latest fast food prices, especially since they are not really relevant to me anymore. I don't go there because I can't. The flavor that takes you back. Get Wendy's new orange dreamsicle frosting. What start is all this? My well, there's this new shake from Wendy's. It looked like it would taste delicious. And that was it. The start of this subject. So, around this time every year, McDonald's will shred out their limited time shamrock shake, and I remembered that has been out for decades. But this Wednesday's shake is totally new and very different than the others. It's what they call the orange dreamsicle frosty shake i believe i can taste it it looks so good even in my dreams i have had a frosty shake in a long time this frosty shake is three dollars and 69 cents in los angeles it probably costs more today than in 2020, but they only offered the regular flavored frosty shakes. The other thing I used to get from Wendy's is their sour cream and chives baked potato. I love that too. It's really the only place to get this. So let's see how much it costs. $3.69. Hmm. It's higher than I remember. Oh well. I think the price is much higher than before, but nobody sells a good big potato. I'm in the San Fernando Valley and in the, in the suburbs. So Carl's Jr. is the next stop. That is the next closest to me. I don't go to Carl Jr. very much anymore. To me, I feel this quality of their food has really declined. But that's my opinion. So we'll check the burger that made them famous. The famous star. 
it's cooked in a way that they call charboiled. They don't cook in on a standard grill top like McDonald's or in and out When I was in high school, Carl's Jr. tasted really good, but maybe they changed the way they cooked your hamburgers, or they did something else. It's just different than before. Before they bought Hardee's, I liked the famous star hamburger, but now it's just an average burger. And it's 1219 for the combo price. Burger, the medium fries, and medium soft drink. Carl's Jr. is just a burger place that serves sloppy condiments on your burger. That's what they tell us in their Carl's Jr.'s TV ads. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is probably the fast food restaurant that has some definitely different and tasty fast food choices. And I would go there frequently, especially in the late night hours. They have a menu that they say is 24 hours. They have early breakfast, late dinner, and it's any time. Their menu was great for me. That's, that was when I could drive. They serve great onion rings. I like that they serve real onion rings. And the rings are high quality. And they cook them on a on-order basis. They are big onion rings too not broken or crushed up and they are hot and fresh directly from the fryer they cost four dollars and 29 cents for their price is higher than before but i know i would want these onion rings from jack in the box Bacon Swiss and Buttery Jack. Besides Jack in the Box flagship products, the Jumbo Jack, I crave that spicy hamburger, the Bacon Swiss Buttery Jack. They don't actually promote that sandwich, and I don't know why. It's a Nexon burger that's made with exceptional quality. Every time my sister cheapies you that sandwich, I'm always pleased with the ingredients. Smoky, thick, but not crumbly bacon. A thick cut a square of Swiss cheese. And the Buddy Jack's signature ingredient sandwich roll that is made with brioche bread and topped with garlic flavored melted butter shocks. I really love this sandwich. Now it costs twelve dollars and twenty eight cents for the combo meal. I remember I would see this sandwich on special a limited time deal for around six or six, seven dollars for the combo meal. But that was sometime before the pandemic. And this new California wage increase definitely changed the prices. But I would buy it again. It tastes that good. 
Mickey D's, um, or McDonald's. I'm just going to tell you the today's LA price is a medium Big Mac combo meal. It's now $11.29. Wow. I did buy a Big Mac combo meal in such a long time. And when I did, it was over three years ago. I think they cost around 7 or $8 for a Big Mac combo meal back then. My sister would treat me to a Big Mac combo meal, but she bought it. I didn't know the price in 2023. Now it costs way more. Now for Burger King. Pre-pandemic, these are one of the fast food restaurants I would eat at during the week for weekly for weekly specials. But for people who ate a value meal during the week, usually Tuesdays, because a Tuesday was rarely a government holiday. I usually went to Popeyes for their weekly Tuesday deals. For famous Popeyes Five Chicken, the Ligon Fly Special, I would get the Louisiana Hot Sauce Package. It's probably every Tuesday that that'd be there in Burbank. I remember it was a two forty nine special and just the chicken a leg and a thigh for two dollars and forty nine cents now back to Burger King like at McDonald's everyone knows about the signature burger at this place it was it's a whopper and I would, I would usually get the specials at Burger King. I'd get a Whopper if it was on a food special. But what is today's price of a Whopper meal in Los Angeles? The forty ninety nine was is for a a. a Large Whopper combo meal, fourteen ninety nine. What the poop? That's the that's a it's the highest price here. For an is increasingly subpar hamburger. So what's happening, Burger King? That's $3 more than the Big Mac meal at McDonald's. And that's $2 more than the specialty sandwich premium ingredients at Jack in the Box. I'm probably not going to have Burger King anytime soon. I have to take it break. So that's all for today. Before I say goodbye, I would like to know your thoughts about these fast food items. Are you concerned about these new prices? The California wage hike? Or are you above the fast food slackers and don't really have any concern because fast food is bad for you anyway? 
If you are getting fast food, it's probably a moot point. So please tell us in the comments. This is Loco Loco. And please subscribe to see more Valley Rat Media. Goodbye.